of the huge infrastructure investment of the Eswa Mahama administration that has become an albatross on the neck of government. With over $200 million spent, the almost completed housing project left to rot at the mercy of the harsh weather. Government is pursuing some former appointees in court over the matter. But it appears, despite the matter subjudicate, government intends putting it to some use. The cabinet took a decision that we should select a private developer or a consortium of private developers and let them make the investment in it so that we can operationalize it. A couple of months ago, we issued a request for proposals. To date, I am briefed that about 10 uh, companies, international and local, have expressed interests according to the work plan that we put together by the 8th or on the 8th of July we expect to formally receive all of the bids we'll do it openly in front of all of you and then we will hand over the bids that we've received to an uh, independent uh, evaluation entity meanwhile the energy minister dr matthew poco prempe has denied the existence of low shedding in the country despite the unplanned outages that has engulfed parts of the country. No, no, ECG is not undertaking load shedding as at the time the question was asked. Mr. Speaker, the minister is saying that there is no uh, timetable for whatever. If, if we don't have load shedding, how would you describe the current situation? It's, it's a situation where you have a light today, tomorrow you don't have light. How would you describe it? How would you describe that situation? I can say on record that there has not been any load management in the last one week. I can say on record.